Okay, hold on. Good morning, Miss Bobby and GT. No one's there yet, Addy. The boys that oh just wait a minute. <laughs> Start reading, honey. The birds that sing. I love to hear robins sing or chickens. A ch take care. A chick or chickens. They sail around the sky of blue, the sky of blue and chirp. To God help us. How we love you. Oh, we also have something. We we also have. There's a mother bird that was sitting on her egg a long time ago, and they just. You mean they, yesterday? Yesterday, and they hatch. We have baby chicks in our front yard now. With the mama bird. Thanks be to God for birds that sing. They're doves. In the front, uh, the front tree. Very cute, though. But right at head level. All right, uh, John. Hey, it's Mary Magdalene, uh, the apostle to the apostles. The feast day of Mary Magdalene. So we're going to spend some time in devotion, uh, hearing the story of the resurrection. Um, John, the Gospel of John, chapter twenty. We're going to do a couple verses and then jump to verse eleven. So if you want to read along, be ready for that jump. Otherwise, just listen along here in devotion this morning. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. And then they all run... And then, you're not there, the disciples go. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, verse 11. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been laid, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him and in Hebrew said, in he said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Ah, beautiful story for our uh, humid day today. Uh, we'll be invited to this uh, devotion to focus on verse 18, that last verse where Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. A devotion from Christ in our homes today. Mary Magdalene was the first person ever to preach the good news of Jesus' resurrection. Unfortunately, this first sermon is often overlooked. The voices of women are often silenced or discredited, their words minimized. While the other disciples were, are hiding in their homes, Mary goes to, the gra to Jesus' grave. However, she doesn't realize he has been raised. She thinks the body has been stolen and starts weeping. When Jesus speaks to her, she doesn't recognize him at first and accuses him of taking her body, the body. Nevertheless, she is there. She showed up. Mary shows up at the tomb and encounters Jesus, not with all the right words or even a complete understanding of what had happened, but... Then she does what Jesus commands and announces the resurrection. Following Jesus isn't about getting it right all the time. It is about showing up, listening, 
and sharing where we see Jesus. It is about taking action, trusting that God will equip us. We trust even in these days that God equips us to see Christ in the world, uh, to listen to one another, uh, to listen to our neighbors, to listen to uh, our leaders, to, to then um, uh, share and proclaim where we see Christ among us. Uh, in an invitation to pray together, my friends. May we hear the voices on the margins and see, O Risen One, that you're, what you're up to in our midst. Amen. And be invited as this day unfolds uh, today uh, to pray for those whose voices are silenced or not heard, uh, those on the margins. Uh, listen deeply and proclaim uh, fully, God near. We worship tonight on the front lawn uh, at 7 o'clock. Um, we will uh, send notes out of reminder, but if you want to uh, remind others, and if you feel comfortable, come on at 7 for worship. If it's threatening, um, we'll have to make a decision then what to do, uh, whether we duck inside, uh, if there's just a few of us or what. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we're, we'll, uh, we'll, we're, we'll worship. Wear your mask, Laura says. Wear your mask. Yes, please. Um, those continue to be uh, directions in our summer plans, but uh, wear your mask. We'll keep our distance, but we'll gather around God's word safely, uh, hopefully outside tonight at 7 o'clock in the cool of the evening. God bless you, my friends, as we continue to share God's presence in the world.